Hello, everybody. Have you ever wondered, depending on what you are when you're playing Elden Ring, Samurai, Prisoner, Confessor, Astrologer, Bandits, Heroes, and Warriors, and Vagabonds, there's a lot to choose from. But have you ever wondered, what's a good way I can level up? Well, I will show you. So, you choose whatever you want, so for this I'll name it, Hi. And then yeah we'll go with young okay anyways this does not really matter however I will be teaching you this at some point okay so whatever you pick I'll let you pick it'll tell you in the little description keepsake I would either go with golden sing seed not sing or did I get sing anyways Golden Seed or Fanged Imp Ashes. These can help you in certain areas with fights. However, I recommend the Gold Seed because you can upgrade a flask. Pretty good for your first run there. And for this, for the purpose of this video, I will be picking Samurai because I've been playing decent amount on the Samurai. So when you first load in, you'll learn a little bit about what you need to do. So. We'll skip all this because I don't want to have any spoilers just when you get in. So you'll get this. You'll open this door. You'll go to that body right there. I'm looking at. Then you open the door. You run over here. And by the way, don't get stressed out if this is your first time playing and you decide to watch this video. There is a fight just up and coming and you're not supposed to win. You are supposed to lose the fight. Because, well, you don't need to. You don't need to win. They're purposefully trying to get you to die. So, let's wait. This guy right here? Yeah, he's supposed to kill you. So, we'll just let him kill us. You can try to get a few hits on him in if you're trying to practice or whatever. But, let him kill you pretty much if you're not trying to practice or anything. Okay, so we skip this. Essentially, you just died, so. Then you get thrown down back into this new area. You'll get your potions. Now, if you are just starting to play this game, you will need to jump down here. You don't want to jump all the way down there. That is the tutorial for the game. So, it'll teach you everything. However, one thing it doesn't teach you, which is annoying, which I just learned up until recently, and to keep in mind, I'm a level 40 on the usual character I play on, which is an astrologer. You have to hold B, and, well, for a controller, you would hold B. I believe it would probably be shift, if I had to guess, for a computer. I do not play on a computer. I play on Xbox. So, any Xbox players, you hold B to run around, and you'll see to run. So, you also push B to dodge. So, if you need to dodge out of the way or something, you can do that. But without further ado... You may want to keep going. Currently in some sort of grave, as you could probably guess from the side of the area. You want to rest at this thing right here. You touch the grace. It says lost grace discovered. This could be for creating a new character, I suppose. If you want to do this video. So you're going to want to collect everything that you normally would. Collect that stuff if you're new. And you hit this little elevator you stand in the middle where the pressure plate is it raises you up and then we'll get out of here immediately good point by the way this guy that you will first encounter right here this guy uh, don't talk to him he won't do anything until a little later you'll learn this in a second so, then you look at these, you look at that, get the golden effigy. So now you're probably, you may have, you know, killed the little soldier dudes or whatever if you've actually got out here and that's why you're looking at this. I level up quickly. So, if you didn't pick samurai or somebody who has a weapon that can make characters bleed, hold on, I gotta get rid of this guy.
So you'll want to rest at this side of grace first. This is the first thing you'll want to do when you come out. You have to run past that guy or just try to avoid him. So as I was saying, if you did pick Samurai, which has a bleed weapon, I think there might be a few others that have a bleed weapon. You will go over here. Come follow me. From this hole in the church on your left, well, on, if you rest at the side of grace, it's right there. So if you're from here, it's on your right. You're looking this, looking from here, it's on your left. So you'll want to run through this hole. You'll want to keep heading left to this big ruin area with kind of to the left of that big tree right there. You'll want to keep going that over here. Then when you hit this lake, you'll want to turn left and if you can, that is, it might be a little hard to do this at first because I got lost a few times trying to find this, but you'll go through this little gap right here or you could go around, whichever you prefer. So from the ruins, you'll see it's over here. You kind of go to the back right of the ruins, right-ish, yeah, in that direction. And you can go through here or go around this, but that's easier. Okay. Now, these guys aren't very hard to kill. See, they're not very hard. But you can usually kill them in one hit or two. However, there's really no point in killing these guys. They don't really give you that much runes. And, I mean, they don't really drop anything important. Unless you're just starting out as a sorcerer, you might get one or two things, but it might be good. But other than that, you'll want to run over here to this secret door past those little zombies. And you'll want to open the door. You run down to the site, or the storm of catacombs. Now then, with your seat, you can do this at any side of grace. You will go, it says pastime, flasks. You want to go to flasks and it says add charge to flask. You want to push that. That will give you an extra potion that you can use while you're earlier in the game. This will help you. And another thing, unless you're playing the astrologer or something that requires some something like FP or a lot of stamina or whatever, Mainly things that require FB. I don't think really stamina counts. You'll go to flasks. You will go to a locate flask charges. And depending on whether or not you're the, uh, what's it called? Oh yeah, astrologer, prisoner, or I believe confessors, one that requires magic too. You will go with, if you're any of those following classes, you will go with two FP potions. So... Sir Lane Tears, I believe it is pronounced, and then three potions of Crypt Tears. If you're, if you're playing as anything but those, so Bandit, Hero, Samurai, etc., you will go with five Crimson Tears, so you can heal easily. Now, if you have somewhat decent armor and a shield like the Samurai, hopefully you pick something with a shield that would be good. You'll notice in this room there's a gargoyle in front of you at what looks like something you can pick up. However, if you don't want to walk into this room just, just yet, go too far than this. You can see the blood stains. Well, people have died in this room before, so it makes you wonder what they have died to. And this gargoyle in front of you is an enemy, and there's a little sneaky one around the corner right here. So if you can, the most viable thing to do when you're first starting is to lock on to him and try to shoot him, this guy from afar. If you don't have him, you'll have to try and run in. Now, for this guy, he'll hit you a few times. And then you'll kill him. Ah. He might kill you every now and then, like he just got me. So, you might be wondering, well, why do I need to kill those guys? Unless I'm a samurai, like I was saying earlier. Here's where this comes in. This is how you're going to level up, alright? There's going to be a place we need to go further 
where we have to have something with blood loss. Okay? So, first, like I have said, this guy. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to block and walk into the room. So he hits us, he tries to hit us, and then you hit him a few times, you kill him, right? And you'll basically, essentially what you're trying to do is you want to kill these two guys and then go rest at the side of Grace so they come back. You want to kill them until you have the weapon called the Forked Hatchet. And by the time you've killed those guys, you'll be wanting to try to get some strength. So if you're killing those guys to level up a bit, you'll want strength. And I believe you need strength and dexterity. So you'll want to go with those two to use it. So your first attributes are going to want to level up. Strength. Dexterity, then I would go with endurance if you're trying to get all these levels. So probably level them up once or twice, the strength and dexterity. And then for endurance, level it up to probably about 18, and you'll be pretty good on endurance. Now, you're going to want to go to your map. You do have a map. You'll see these little yellow dots, and you might wonder what those are. Those are the sites of Grace you've been to. Here's where those come in handy. You can fast travel. If you go over the top of one and you hit A, or probably E on, key on keyboard, don't quote me, because I don't know. I don't play on keyboard and mouse. So, you will want to hit A for all you Xbox players, then hit OK. You want to go to the Church of Ella. You'll see this on the map right here called the Church of Ella. It's, it's down to the right from Stormfoot Catacombs. So then, follow this path. You will want to go over here, out the church, and you want to turn left, get this gold rune. This will give you just a little bit extra runes that you can use. It gives you a small number of runes. However, that might help you at some point, so... You might as well use those gold runes. You go by hitting the three lines, going down to inventory, and they should be right here under tools. Now then, you'll want to keep continuing on forward. Let's run forward, try to get there as fast as possible. You'll see these guys in the forest. I recommend killing them because you could get a better piece of armor out of them, or you'll just get some runes. So, kill them. You don't have to kill all of them if you don't want to, but try to get a piece of armor. They're called Godric Soldiers. Kill these guys. There we go. Godric Soldier Gauntlets. Any of this armor, preferably, you'll probably want to equip. Try and get as much defense as you can, because you'll need it for where we're going. We're going to a pretty high level area to get all these runes from. So... We'll want to sneak up on this guy. Hit right bumper for Xbox. Uh, you'll want to use your weak attack for any PC players. I don't know what that is again. So you'll want to hit whatever does your fast or attack, not your charge attack. So. So. Now then, if you get unlucky, you don't get anything out of any of these guys. So that's okay. You don't need it, but it would be helpful. So now... You want to make sure you know where this path is at all times. You need to follow this dirt path right here. So try not to get lost. But still kill these guys, because... There we go. We got a bolt. Now then... Instead of going through this village and going to the right, all those guys down there are going to kill you pretty fast. So you're going to want to come decently that far down here. You'll see that big gate over there. Now we're going to want to run over to this gate. And there's a side of grace over there you might notice. So... At this side of Grace, you'll get your horse, or Torrent. You'll get Lost Grace discovered. You rest here. Then 
you'll see we get a little cutscene, which you don't really need to do, but yeah, then this lady talks to you. Okay, so then. So then she tells you about. Now then it tells you about Torrent, and then now she disappears. You'll want to go back in. You'll want to hit level up, and then you go in here, and you'll probably have like one level you can do. So I'd put it in endurance for the extra stamina, and because it makes you carry a little extra. So now then, you have him. So what you want to do? You go to equipment. You go all the way down. And you'll see flask of crimson tears, flask of sir. Uh, so you're really in tears, and then you'll go to one to the right of that, and you'll put in Spectral Steed Whistle. You hit down on the D-pad for Xbox. Once again, I don't know what it is on computer. <laughs> then you'll hit whatever button it is to call them in. So whatever you use to get open and use your potions, that's what you'll want to hit that. And that will open it for you, so X for Xbox players. But Then you'll want to run over here all the way down this path where you just were you're faster than all these guys so don't worry then you'll want to hit B to run faster you get over here then we'll come over here we'll get this stone okay as I was saying We'll come over here, and the rest of the side of Grace. Then you'll talk to her again. You'll go to talk to Melina. For this one, but now you can see the rays upon the cliff and the Demica. It's the rays that only Elden has an ally praying to save her. Then she tells you about the stuff. She tells you about the guy up on the storm gate, which you don't really need to listen to her. Now then, you'll want to get back on to your horse. Now follow this path, okay? You'll want to turn to the right and follow kind of where that guy's going, but you don't want to get him mad at you. So what you'll do is, he might have seen me, no I don't think he did. So. Uh, I think you might have. You'll want to come back to this spawn area over here with this big building. You'll notice it by the big statue. You'll see this. You'll see the spawn building. You will want to head left. Then you might think this is a bit of a big drop down here by these two eagles. However, it is survivable, so you'll drop down, and then you'll run over here by these ruins. There are things that can hurt you over here, so you might need to fight them off once in a while. So, now follow this path. You will want to kill him if you want. If you want to, I mean, you don't really need to, but. Now then, you'll want to try to get rid of those dogs if they're trying to bother you. So, let me get off and kill things. Oh, okay, or, or die, that's fine. If you couldn't tell, this game is quite hard. Now then, we'll go to the last side of Grace we visited, so. If you die, that's okay. Now then, when you die, you get to talk to her. If you go back to the church. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling, and upon looking into the matter, talk I surmise thou art possessed of a power called forth the spectral I was in strife torrent. So she gives you these. So then, you'll want to go back to where we went, so 
You'll want to head down this path. Go over there. Statue. Oh, he's aggroed on me. Anyways, you'll want to head left. If he gets mad at you, don't worry. You're like a little slower than him, but that's okay. Because you'll just drop off this cliff and he won't do anything because he can't jump down. No, no. <laughs> Anyways, this time we will run straight down into. We're gonna right down into the. down these stairs. See them? I'll see them down here. In this area, kind of in the middle of it. Now then, you'll walk going down, and you'll see there's a big open room in here. Now, if you're somebody who can shoot from far away, you're going to want to try to take all these guys out by shooting them. That'll be the most handy thing to do. Now then, I'll walk into this room with caution. Now then, now that we've killed everybody in here, we will go over to the other side of the room and there will be a big door. We'll lift this door up and there's a chest in here. This chest isn't actually going to give you some goodies. This chest is going to transport you and we're going to use it as a teleporter to get to where we want to go. You open the chest. You've been ensnared in a transporter trap. See? And then it, you'll get a tip. And you can read these tips if you'd like. And then... While it loads... And then... It'll transport you to a place called the Kalid. Or Salid. Whichever you prefer. Now then, there are a lot of enemies in here. And a lot of them will kill you. So, what you will do, you will jump, and you will try to jump onto this post right here. When you get out, you'll jump out, and you'll want to crouch for this so the enemies don't see you. Or they won't aggro on you as easily, I should say. They won't get mad. Then, you will want to hug this wall right here. Around. Now, down this hallway, you'll pretty much just get up, and you'll just dead sprint down it. And then you'll run, you'll drop down off of here into this area right here. You see this. The first thing you're going to want to do is rest at the side of grace. Make sure your spawn is there. Now then. You'll want to walk over here. You'll get the raw grease for free. Now then, just warning you guys, if you really want to, you can talk to Melina again. You don't need to, but I mean... You might as well do it because, well, it will advance the story more. First thing you want to do, you want to walk out here as soon as you rest at that side of grace. You want to get on good old torrent here. You want to, you have to be on torrent to go into this water or you will die instantly. Well, not instantly. You'll die pretty fast, though. Because you'll get an ability, well, not an ability, I should say. A debuff called Scarlet Rot, which will kill you pretty fast. You'll want to hug this le this right wall when you come out. I'm going to go around here. You can leave that guy alone for now. Now then, this is really only helpful if you're a sorcerer. I mean, not a sorcerer, I should say. Really, an astrologer, you can run over here and while we're hugging this right wall, and this ruin right here, there's a free staff you can get from this dude on the window. Ah, make sure you don't get hit by those guys or they'll kill you. You want to come in here real fast? They'll get the meteorite staff. 
You'll want to get out of there real fast so you don't die of poison. They'll come back out. This place is dangerous, so don't get hit by anything. You'll want to follow this around. Keep going along this wall. Now then, you'll turn over on this right after following that really long path. And you will rest at this side of grace finally, where you get a little bit of a break. Now... No. When she offers to take you to the round table, say no. You do not want to go there yet. We're still trying to level up. Do not say, oh, I want to go to the round table yet. No. Follow this path from the side of grace. You will hold it right. You will fall. You can trade. You can see if you have enough rooms to buy anything from this guy right here if you want to. But for now, we're going to follow this cliff around for the right. Then we'll keep following around until we get all the way over there by that big area, like over there with that church on top of it. We'll get pretty close to there. So you'll want to go follow this. Try to avoid those guys right there. There's little like crow T-Rexes. It looks like a crow and a T-Rex. These look like wolves and T-Rexes. Neither one is very nice. They don't want to give you hugs. So you want to run from them. You'll want to keep trying to hug little cliff around here, right? However, instead of going down there by this thing that will most certainly kill you, you will want to veer off and go to the left side of this path. Don't run those guys. That's just annoying. Try to because they'll follow you forever, pretty much. Well, it takes a long time to get them off you anyways. You'll want to keep following this wall, and then you'll jump up here. That guy will probably stop following us if I hadn't to guess. Then you'll get on this cliff instead. Now then, you can get a little bit of a break up here if you need it. If one of those guys isn't chasing you. But you'll want to follow this around again. Keep going and... You want to keep following this big crack, basically, until you're on the other side. If you would like to, you could stop at this destination and try to avoid those little zombie dudes. You'll get a bunch of free runes here, a bunch of free gold runes, and who doesn't like that? So you'll get one grade six gold rune, one grade one gold rune, and one grade two gold rune, which is decent amount of runes so once you jump over this that little drop next to the graveyard you'll see from the graveyard we'll just come over here then you'll keep following this part around until those guys get off of you and then now here's where the annoying part comes in there's a lot of dragons up here and if you didn't know dragons generally are not very nice so they do want to kill you so, what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here. We're going to take a look at our surroundings. You can see this big lake. Once you see this big lake, you're almost to where we need to go to level up multiple times. Like, a lot. You want to hop off your horse right here. Get the map. You'll want to... There's... You'll want to open your map again, and right about here, where I marked, so around in the center of all this gold looking stuff, there's a big dragon, a really massive one that's sleeping. And you'll want to go around this guy. They're all not very smart, or they just don't have very good eyesight, and they can't see you or hear you going around them. So then you'll, once you go around to the right of them, you'll find this little white path right here. You'll want to head up the path and you'll want to follow it. Now then you'll see this dragon right here. 
you'll want to turn right of this dragon and go up here until you see this wall that may, looks like it's made of lava, right? Right here, pretty much here. You see that giant dragon right there? You're going to want to follow this wall. Keep going along it. Now, once you get to his wing right here, you'll want to go to the right. You'll want to try to sneak past that dragon without waking him up. And you'll want to, once you're behind his wing, you'll want to jump over. Now then, you'll want to hop off your horse over here. You'll want to jump up into this specific spot right here. Here. Not heel. But anyways, hop up right here. You'll see this little, like, thing where the dragon is right next to this wood log and this dragon has a crap ton of health but here's where blood loss comes in blood loss when you hit somebody enough and you affect them with blood loss it does a massive chunk of the enemy's health and even though our katana here or your fork catcher will only do about 50 damage you will affect him with blood loss, which will do 30,000, I mean not 30,000, 13,000 damage, which is like one sixth of his health. So they'll, they'll pretty much just run into this corner and hit him. Make sure nothing's behind you because every now and then a dragon will sneak up on you and see, look, 13,000 damage and you'll hit this guy until you kill him. You might hit that little stuff to your side every now and then. Keep waiting until your stamina regains. If a dragon does sneak up on you, you'll want to hop on Torrent or your horse, run away, and then drink a flask of Crimson Tears and then come back. That's the best thing to do. Make sure the dragon's not there, obviously. You don't want to come back if the dragon's there. There, you see again, 13,000 damage. You'll want to keep looking at that health bar, make sure you're hitting him. Oh yeah, and by the way, here's where this thing comes up too. This right here is called Rot Grease. It coats an armament, an armament inflicting rot. If you would like to, you can use this, make it rotten, and you might do a little extra damage to him by inflicting Scarlet Rot on him, which is pretty good. Because it'll just do that extra bit of damage. So, it'll go into your inventory, you'll hit use on it, and you can see we're already inflicting him with Scarlet Rot. You can see he's poisoned and taking quite a lot of damage. go. Another 13,000 damage. And I believe the rot grease will stay on your weapon until you die. So that's always handy to have. This, this game is really about searching up what things are weak to, finding ways to cheat the system, and killing things. That's about it. From what I've seen anyways. Puzzles. Oh wait, no, it does run out eventually. Okay, no more rot grease. That's okay. You'll want to keep hitting until he dies. At about half health, he'll yell again and all the dragons get really mad. Because, well, you're killing, <laughs> you're killing their master pretty much. So, you'll want to go try to position yourself that you can hit him again. Because when he yells, he kind of readjusts himself and it's kind of annoying to hit him. So. However, you can see we're still hitting him after he readjusts. He'll come back down, you can hit him again. We've almost got him. This might be boring, but it's better than sitting here for an hour trying to kill him because, well, without blood loss, you'd be sitting here for an hour trying to kill him, so.
wait for your stamina to recover. He's almost dead. So in about one or two more maybe, you should have him dead. And also, don't be scared. When you finally do kill this guy right here, there really shouldn't be any dragons over here. They might glitch their way over here, but like I said, just check behind you every now and then. However, when you kill this guy, all the dragons around you will die, and that will give you even more runes, because, well, you technically killed them, according to the game. So, you can see he's almost dead now. Hit him. 64 damage. 64 damage. He died. So you'll see, you can't hit him anymore. That means he died. You'll want to just jump up here real fast. You'll see him fade away. You get 50,000 runes instantly, then all those dragons die, and you can see you get 50,000 runes. Now, you don't want to stay here, so, because you probably don't want to die, so, you'll want to open your map, you'll want to zoom out by using the joystick. If you're on Xbox, you'll go down to the joystick, you'll want to go over to the far bottom left side of the map, you'll see these sites of grace you'll want to look for the church of ella you'll you'll fast travel to there now and then you will sit down at the site of grace and then finally you will go to level up and you can do whatever you want so if you really wanted to i suppose you could just become the most tanky person you would ever want and you could put all of your points in vigor or you can actually, you know, sort them out nicely and have like 18 endurance is what I was going with. I have, I believe, 16 strength and then 18 dexterity. And then I put like one in each of these to get them all the decent amount. And then, I don't know. So you can do whatever you'd like with them. However, because why not? I'm going to put all of them in bigger and see how much health I have. So, you're free to go if you'd like, but let's see. If you'd like to stay, you can see how much health I get. Let's see here. Oh. <laughs> I sure do have a lot of health. <laughs> I don't think you're killing me anytime soon. <laughs> Can definitely take a hit. Uh, no, he'll, he'll still kill me pretty fast, but... Ah. Now, that is how you get 75,000 runes, which will get you up to level... Well, let's see here. That leveled me up. We're at level 32, and you start off at level 9 so, as a samurai. So, let me subtract 9 from 32. Well, hold on. Before I do that, I'm going to uh, do this. Get him away. Um, okay, let's see. 9, 32, so. 23. You get 23 levels from that, which is quite a lot. Which you can pretty much use, have the requirement for anything you need to use. That's it. So. Before we go, I do want to make sure you leave a like and subscribe, you hit the notification bell, and you leave a comment down below. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and that's how to get 75,000 runes in Elden.